You are corporate photography director of Condé Nast, and we are now in the show dedicated to this incredible collection. So did you have some surprise when you, you visited the show? Yeah, it's always amazing to see the pictures together because normally you see them separately. And it's my belief that when you put pictures together on a wall like this, they in a sense start talking to one another. Yes, that's for sure. You know? And so you start to see the conversation and the dialogue that's happening in each room and on each wall. And the stories start to weave together. And so that's the wonderful thing about hanging artworks and treating them as, as a story that you start the storytelling starts to become amazing. And so you really start to see the pictures in the context of what happened before and what happened after and what was happening during that time. But did you discover something or some images you didn't know before? Yes, yeah, so we had a wonderful picture that I wrote about of a woman named Dr. Mary Walker um, from 1911. That was a picture that was pulled for Vanity Fair originally. It was part of the Vanity Fair archive, um, but for some reason didn't appear in the magazine. We're not sure why, but it's a wonderful photograph of the, she was the first woman to wear pants. And she was actually a Medal of Honor winner in the Civil War, but she was arrested for wearing pants in public, which is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. um, so I didn't know anything about her, and so I got to learn about that picture, and it's just sort of an interesting story. So there were things, primarily the images, of course, ran in the magazines, but there were some things that were outtakes and things that we hadn't looked at um, that had been in boxes for many, many years. Um, so that was kind of the extraordinary thing, to start to see images again and to bring them to life. And mm. So and to, I just think it's about inspiration and education. And that's always my hope with exhibitions, that people are inspired and they learn something and they learn. And later, later in years. Yes. Do, do, did you discover some things that you didn't know about, for example, the story of the story of Condé Nast or? Yeah, I mean, I know the company history pretty well because I spend time studying it, but it's just interesting to look at an artist like Dwayne Michaels, who was enormously important in the history of photography, but did some really wonderful work for Vogue um, in the 1970s before he sort of really entered into his fine artwork. He was working for Vogue and did some wonderful pictures. Um, Peter Hujar worked for GQ. Ah, quarterly. wow, so there are some pop. Peter... Yeah, exactly. Wow, he's, a, he's an immense photographer. Yeah, and so he worked for GQ, and he photographed for them, and did a couple of assignments in the 1970s. Like photos of what? Uh, Iggy Pop, which ah, is in the okay. exhibition. Okay. Yeah, so it's amazing. So there were things like that. You know, I know the company history pretty well, and I know a lot of the photographs, but it's just really amazing to really start to spend time with them and think about them in context of what was happening during that time. And aren't you sad that uh, all these photos don't belong anymore to the no, company? No, I'm actually the opposite. I'm actually quite excited for the world to see them and to share them with the world. I really believe that photographs need to be seen. Mm -hmm. And that's the idea and that they're being shared with the world and the Pinot collection is extraordinary and they have the best conservators in the world and the pictures will be taken care of and exhibited and so I just think it's a wonderful opportunity for the photographs. Merci monsieur. Yeah.